Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is number five in the mixed media and resin series. Today I've used foil, um, just regular household foil with resin. Um, and this is what we've come up with today. Now the foil um, creates really interesting um, see the reflections there in the resin and I actually think that would work well to create a nice ocean scenes so so experimenting with the foil has given me some extra ideas for some new pieces so for this piece I um, literally um, scrunched up some foil to create the shapes and um, stuck it with resin added some stones uh, a bit of colour and there you go so it's quite a quick and simple and easy and effective design so without further ado let's get into the video so for this one i'm just using um, a piece of masonite board and i'm just using regular household foil um, which i'm making sure the strips that are, are cut are long enough to cover the foil and then i'm just cutting um, eight strips of foil to shape into long tubes so just making sure that the shiny side is on the outside and I'm just going to scrunch scrunch the foil up now foil is really good for um, making tree trunks and things like that I've done that in the past with some mixed media pieces that I've done so I've made trees and things out of foil so it's quite versatile but this is the first time I've actually used it with resin uh, as you can see I've lightly crinkled the foil in the background so that when we put the resin on top we get some interesting effects because the resin that I'm using is going to be quite translucent because I'm only using a tiny bit of pigment and I'll add the, um, the list of contents into the description when I'm done. Now I've just put a very very thin layer of resin on the board and I'm just gluing this foil piece to the board. Now you could, um, I've actually continued and gone straight on to the next stage but you can actually leave this for a bit before you move to the next stage, uh, maybe an hour or so and then press down further to make sure that the, the foil is really adhered to the, the board. But for this purposes it was not necessary, I actually go back later and using and my hands I actually press down to make sure that the, I've got good texture happening in the background so now I'm just gonna um, I've just laid a very thin layer of resin just to get the basic shape that I'm after and so I'm now gonna coat the pieces in the resin so that we've got good um, adhesion to the back in there so I'm just making sure that's fully coated and I'm not worrying too much about it and the the silver of the foil showing through or anything because that all adds to the effect so it's just um, giving it a quick coating and then just shaping it into the shapes that I want and the beauty of, a, of the foil like I say is you can shape it any way you want so you can create some interesting design and effects with the foil And once I'm happy with the layout, then move on to colouring the resin. Again, I've only added a tiny little bit of pigment. Uh, it looks a lot more pigmented there actually than it is because I want the silver of the foil to shine through. I've also added some glitter to the, the pigment just to give it that extra sparkle. Again, I'll, make, I'll put the list of the contents used in the description. So just using my hands, I'm just spreading that about. And you don't need a thick layer of resin for this because we want the foil to shine through. We want the texture to poke through the resin. So a very thin layer is fine. And then all I'm doing now is I'm going to make sure that the center pieces are really stuck to the background. So I've added a little bit more um, of the pigment to the resin. And I'm just going to coat this now. And just pushing it down just making sure that it's it's all lying flat it's all st stuck to each other and that I've not got any pieces that are not stuck to the board and just for a bit of added interest um, letting the resin run either side so that it bleeds out into the colour slightly 
And as always, we give the bubbles a bit of a zap with either a torch or a heat gun. I tend to use my heat gun more than a torch because I always have that to hand. It's usually hanging from the tripod of my um, setup for my video, so it's, it's always to hand, which is easy to access. But if it's a thicker piece, I will use a torch. Um, I've found that they can zap the bubbles a lot easier. But whatever works for you is all good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some extra texture and detail to this and so I'm going to my go-to decoration filler stones which are made of acrylic they're in the shape of diamonds and they give good light reflection and it makes sense to use this on here because when it sinks through the resin we'll get the silver of the foil shining through these stones as well so it's going to give a really nice finish and a nice sparkle so this is why I use these stones quite a bit and all I'm doing here is any that are not actually touching the resin I'm just pushing them down with my finger just to make sure that they're actually in the resin so that they don't come off and then I'm going to give it another layer of stones I felt that it needed a little bit more so I'm going to extend the stones down further into the turquoise colour just sort of got more of a bubble effect so that it's almost like the bubbles are spreading out from the centre and you can add as much or as little as you want so you just gauge it see how we're getting on and all I'm doing here again is just making sure there's no bubbles and just pushing down any stones that are sticking up to make sure that they're actually stuck in the resin now I've left this to cure for about half an hour and I'm just going back now and using my gloved fingers and pushing the resin down onto the board making sure that it's that's well stuck and there's no floating bubbles underneath but also to make sure that I've still I've got good texture as well in the foil so by pushing it down and moving it around you get more texture happening in the foil now you can get even more if you if it's scrunched the foil more at the beginning I would have got a lot more the texture happening but for this purposes um, it's actually worked quite well and because I've moved the resin round a touch I'm now giving this a zap with the heat gun just to warm the resin slightly so that it flows back into the um, creases and I don't have any lumps and bumps that are not required so it's been left overnight now and as you can see I get really impatient and I'm in the garage with my dressing gown on um, trimming the excess foil. I always get excited at how a piece is going to turn out so I can never normally wait until I've had my shower and I'm normally in the garage there getting stuck in so as you can see I'm just trimming the excess foil and you don't have to be super critical with this because all I'm doing any that is um, foil that's hanging over I'm just tucking that back underneath and if there's any loose pieces I can just use a bit of PVA glue or Elmer's glue or whatever to glue that down And that's basically it. There's not much to this one. Um, the purpose behind doing these like quick and simple videos is to show you that you can use every, everyday household objects to um, make interesting and unique looking designs in your resin and it's just to give you some ideas that you know you don't have to just use resin you can actually create some interesting effects using foil texture paste and different things like that so it's um it just gives you some food for thought so i hope you enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more videos from the mixed media and resin range please go to my patreon account and for as little as four dollars a month you can get access to all my exclusive videos and you can also follow me on Instagram and join the Facebook group all of which will be detailed in the description below so I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again very soon so thank you for watching bye for now